this class? These were your tenants. Were they the only two people in the house? There were six tenants in total in the house at the time that the lease ended or terminated. And did these two remain? Yes. Um, Mr. Turner and Mr. Reed remained past the 30-day notice. They were your tenants from when to when? Um, Mr. Reed moved Raise in. Raise your hand, Reed. Mr. Reed moved in in 2013, August, and Mr. Turner moved in in August of 2014. And the lease was up when? Uh, I uh, gave 30-day notice on April the 30th of this year. That would have been June the 1st as the move out. Okay. You had a written lease initially. And, well, I'll ask Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed, when did your written lease expire? A written lease expired... That was what, what was complicated, is we never formally signed any lease. She had okay. dropped it off. Okay, and then but you never just... And it kind of rolled over to the... It was month-to-month, -month basically. Is what so it you to. acknowledge you were month-to-month -month tenants. Yeah. And so she gave you a 30-day notice in April of this year. Non-official. What does that mean, not official? She sent a text to the group. I had her blocked. She I never received the text. I don't care. If you had her blocked, then you're a moron. If you have your landlord blocked, you're a moron anyway, because I read the papers. But if you have your landlord blocked, then you're an idiot. So she gave you a 30-day notice on April 30th. How many people were in the house on April 30th? Six. How many people were in the house May 30th? Three. When was the last time you paid rent? What would have been the 27th of the... Uh, April. April. And that's for May. That's for May. Did you pay June's rent? We did after we moved out. Did you pay June's rent in June? In June? Yeah. Yes. What day in June? 9th or 10th. So now you paid June's rent on June 9th, despite the fact that you had a 30-day notice. And then what happened? And we moved out. Now I'm, not, now I'm looking oh, at him. Sorry. Uh, then we moved out to a new place. What date? June 11th. So is what you're telling me you paid all of June's rent and moved out on June 11th? We agreed uh, with Ms. Class to pay for the days we were there in June. Now let's get to who posted obscene things about Ms. Class on either Craigslist, the Internet, anywhere out there in cyberspace. Raise your hand. That would be you. And when did you start posting these obscene things? Did you start posting them in 2013, Mr. Reed? No, it was... No, 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 I'm asking... I'm asking the question, did you start posting them in 2013? No. Did you post them in 2014? No. Did you post them in 2015? No. Did you post them in 2016? No. Prior to April of 2017, did you post any obscene things about Miss Class? No. Prior? No. So the obscene things that you posted to her about her were after you got some side of notice through a crystal ball because you had her number blocked that she wanted you out because she was moving back to her house after April 30th. Right. Right. That would be what we call vicious. Now she's going to show me what you moron posted on the internet about her because that's the basic part of her lawsuit. I don't have to entertain anything else about her broken cabinets. If you are such a moron and vicious to say to your landlord, you want us out, and she's doing everything right. You were a tenant in 13, 14, 15, 16. You liked the house. It was a nice house. It was a beach house. It was a good deal. Whatever. You didn't want to move. So you started to make her life miserable. That's what you were doing. You were making her life. She's making your life miserable, making you move out of her house. 